society and the pitfolds of our mindset. How life can either become awesome or be an epic fail based on this mindset we carry. Let's talk about it. Roll it. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Nikos Rentis. This is MentorsApproach.com. Hit a like if you like what you see. Of course, hit the subscribe button so you get that daily motivational idea sitting in your head so that you can start moving in the right direction. Today's email comes from somebody who's been looking at society at large and wondering, you know, how do I make it through? Where do I go from here? And how do I succeed? Uh, let's, jump, let's jump into it. Hi Nikos, Integrity Talk is awesome. Thank you. I like what you are doing and how you're branding yourself. Thank you, thank you. I have learned so much. I am 28 years old and have been working a dead-end job since college. My family is low income and I am the first to graduate college. Congratulations. I, you, dude, yeah, that's awesome. I want to launch a new business idea I have for training people. My dilemma is that I am black, baby looking face with no facial hair, and I don't have experience. All right, so I made a e uh, video about an email two days ago, and you need to watch that. I will link it up top. Uh, perspective, this is perspective. You look at all these people in the world and you ask yourself, how can I compete? And then you will look at several of them and you know really look at what they're doing, how they're doing it, and then you make your own decision on how well they're doing. We all go through this process. The question is, why is it that some people succeed where other people have failed? And what was the biggest reason? Most of the time it comes down to two things. That is the motivation to keep going. And then secondly, it's, the ability to find those small details that will help you find the opportunities that exist to capitalize on. That's simple. And, and if you don't keep going, you'll not meet the right people at the right time. You won't find those opportunities at the right time. And you know, your dream is gone. And that's it. Some people persevere and keep going. You're young, you, know, you, you went through this description. My dilemma is I'm black, baby looking face with no facial hair, and I don't have experience. Uh, look at that, that whole line. It's just, hey, this is my reality, and it just kind of feels like if I was talking to you, you'd be like discouraged in some way. And I want you to really put this into perspective. The people you see succeed, and what they're doing online is because they looked at what was going on with the other people and they found the ability that those people had to communicate. And, and they found that niche that liked the communication skill and then they grabbed hold of it. This is what you really need to focus on, especially if you're, you know, you're talking about uh, launching this idea on training people. Well, look at this you're on this video and you're watching my channel I don't have a lot of uh, subscribers a lot of views I don't have a lot of subscribers um, but what happens people you know I'll get toxic coach calls all the time so sorry toxic relationship coach calls and people will watch the videos and they'll watch that big one with you know it's got at the time of this recording I think like 13,000 views and it's doing well it's averaging great time and people are watching it the people that watch the whole thing well they'll watch that they'll go watch a few other ones and what ends up happening is those are the ones that call me for a coach call uh, in that specific area when i meet people outside and about and they ask me hey can i get some help this and that hey go watch my videos and if you like what you see go on and book a, an appointment or you know, move through the process of learning everything I'm teaching, join the Facebook group, and then, you know, then eventually jump in. I'm building the community. It takes time to build it. You're gonna be training people. You have to create a system that will work for you to build this community because you don't have the experience to back you right now. And, and even if you did have the experience, how big is your network? How many people do you know? 
what is going to happen when you go and you advertise? It, it's this mentality that really, really people go forget about when they're going through these emotions. Even if you were a 20 year veteran, you would still need a network to feed off of. You need a community. You need that idea of belonging for people to come into. And then once they feel that belonging, they start to trust you. This is critical. Does color matter? Does your age matter? Does, you know, what? It doesn't matter. What matters is, are you providing a solution for somebody for a specific reason? And if that training is providing a solution for somebody, you're gonna make money. You just have to learn to communicate the right things at the right time to that niche market that was willing to pay the dollar for you to provide that solution. Take everything out of your head and say to yourself, how do I build this community? How do I move forward? You know, do I need to do free work for people or you know, a, a discount for people or exchange for your, your social proof as we call it? so you can get moving. Have I done that before? Yes, I've done that before. You know, it, it, it very simple. When I started making websites way back, I, I did free websites for people so I can get them to refer me. You know, the referral was critical. So, everybody needs to start somewhere and yes, you're not gonna start overnight, but when you're saying, hey, you know, you, how old are you here again? You're. You're 28 and you're in a dead end job since college. So you must have finished around what, 21, 22? And you've been doing this for six to eight years. You're sick of it. And you can, you have a skill set that you can uh, make money off of. And you're not doing it while you're staying in a dead end job? Dude, dude. Start working every night, start pushing yourself to create that community, start helping people in that training area that you know you can train people in, get people moving, get the referrals in, get the social proof moving, and what you'll find is that people will really tell you, hey, I'll pay you to help me out, how much do you want, and you can create a, a pricing strategy that works, and eventually you'll be able to leave that dead-end job you're at. Don't think about any of the other social norms and all the social, you know, the social heartaches that we hear each day of people in the media and, you know, all the, the negativity that exists. It's, it's do or die, really, at the end of the day. Are you gonna do and succeed or are you gonna die at the job you're at? That's the bottom line. And I, I don't think anybody, will judge you on how long it will take. Nobody was gonna judge you on what you're doing to get there. It's just you doing so you can get there. My name is Nikos Red. This is MentorsApproach.com. Hit a like if you like what you see. Of course, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future motivational ideas to get your mindset moving in the right direction. Of course, leave a comment below that, I don't know, maybe somebody will read and is in a similar mindset, similar situation, and who knows, they might read the comment and you might help change life.